Hello, Teacher Alon here. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic: sexual versus asexual plants. Isn't that interesting? Instead of plants versus zombies. Anyways, have you ever wondered how plants reproduce? Well, let's find out together. Plants, just like animals, have their own unique ways of reproducing. Some plants reproduce sexually, while others reproduce asexually. First. Let's talk about sexual reproduction in plants. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of male and female reproductive cells. In plants, these cells are found in flowers. Flowers are like nature's matchmaking service. Imagine a flower as a party where bees, butterflies, and other pollinators are guests. They move from flower to flower, carrying pollen, which contains male reproductive cells. From one flower's male part to another flower's female part. When the pollen lands on the female part of a flower. It fertilizes the egg cells, and voila, a seed is formed. This seed can grow into a new plant. Now, let's shift our focus to a sexual reproduction in plants. A sexual reproduction doesn't involve the fusion of male and female. Reproductive cells. Instead, plants can produce new plants without the need for pollinators or seeds. One common way plants reproduce sexually is through runners or stolons. Have you ever seen a strawberry plant with long, slender stems creeping along the ground? Those are runners. Each runner can produce a new plant, identical to the parent plant. Another method of sexual reproduction is through plant parts, like bulbs, tubers, and rhizomes. These are like nature's magic wands, allowing plants to clone themselves. And create new plants without seeds. So, to sum it up, sexual reproduction involves the fusion of male and female reproductive cells, while a sexual reproduction allows plants to create new plants without seeds or pollinators. Plants are amazing, aren't they? Whether they're using flowers to attract pollinators or creating clones of themselves, plants have clever ways of ensuring their survival and spreading their genes.